hello everyone in this video tonight let's do a reading about what will your parents think about him and what will his parents think about you when you introduce them for the first time when you tell your parents about this relationship also let's ask will if you want to get married with this person Will your parents agree and will his parents agree or how will they react? That sort of reading. So if you'd like to participate, please uh, think of that person and your parents and, and their parents and choose a set of cards. So one deck will be about both sides. <clears throat> so... Um, if you have two persons in your mind, you can choose two decks. If you have one person, I would advise one deck. And take your time, please. Okay, have you chosen your deck? So let's start with our deck number one. This is Indian folktale tarot. So, what would your parents think about this person? So, first of all, here we have the Six of Pentacles. Well, this card always reminds me when you go into someone's house here in india and the people are very hospitable they start sharing giving you sweets and biscuits with tea you know and these are guests and and she is basically just uh, giving them things so i think if this person comes to your house your mother uh, most likely will be very polite and nice with that person she might make a cup of tea or you know she might offer some ladoos and biscuits you know and things like that to that person so also this card means money and we can say that money might play an important role in this relationship and what your parents will think if the person if the person is um, earning, you know, and he has money, then your mother might like this person more. So, okay, so we have these cards also telling us that most likely in this relationship you've been waiting for a while and dragging this relationship and being afraid to reveal about this relationship, talk about this relationship, especially to your parents. And the tower card, my <clears throat> that this time has come now to tell the truth about this relationship. So, what will your parents think about uh, the person you like? The father. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so father will, um, of course, it will be a trauma for them, the fact that their beloved daughter is in love and maybe she wants, you know, she has a boyfriend, let's see, if it's the first time, you can see how worried they are, how, you know, um, and they will think a lot about it, they will think and think day and night about it, you know, is this a good thing, is this a bad thing, they will they love you and they want the best for you and I feel that they're not the judgmental type of parent they this is your father okay so I feel that they are someone who want to do the right thing who want you to be happy who want the guy to be uh, the best one for you so they would um, really really think and I think they will allow you to choose whatever you want because they will might say something like okay love is love you know something like that they will be kind and nice what about your mother how will she react to that person what will she uh, react okay she will be more dramatic as you can see so okay she might be more practical she might be more concerned with how much the person earns what kind of family they're from you know how much their parents earn uh, depending on 
if it's for marriage or if it's just dating you know so she understands that this is a relationship you're dating and things like that but she might be upset nevertheless she might be still heartbroken you know oh, why what does she expect um why will she be so heartbroken Well, I think that she, maybe you are from different castes yeah, or different classes in the society. And this, uh, and your mother would um, really uh, prefer if you were from the same, you know, class. And uh, she might think that this relationship might be not approved by some other elders. For example, the grandparents, uncles, you know, the, the majority of the big family and uh, she might be afraid that this will break your heart sooner or later you'll have to say no to this person and you'll have to separate so because of that she's sad because it will break your heart and it might be not a good thing but she doesn't you know right now think that things happen these days everything is possible anyway so that's sort of situation. So your father is more philosophical, I get, and your mother is more practical here. Now, um, will your father, if you, let's say, want to get married with this person, will your father say yes? Will your father agree? So I feel that they love you very much and that they... Uh, will do anything for you but I think there is an enemy so to say a queen of swords which is maybe grandmother maybe it's your mother who is a bit more uh, let's say judgmental perfectionist you can say she wants to be things the right way the way uh, it's according to the rules and and things like that you know so he might be wanting to say yes but he cannot say yes alone he'll have to listen to this mother or grandmother there is a female basically he's afraid of the female so from his side it's a yes but he is afraid what will she think what will that female think so it depends on her as well okay so will your mother say yes if you chose this person for the marriage Well, it's all about money for her. I think um, for her, it's very important uh, that you would have a good place to live and there would be finances in the house and all these things. She is the leader in the family. I think she is the uh, mastermind. She always calculates things. She always decides things. She always, you know things about things and she will think about it she will consider it she will weigh things and she will uh, try to consider this option but she will say if there is this and this much of money that we're getting or this person earns this much or his job is this good or something like that she'll say yes okay for this um, but she is a bit more practical as I said Okay, so advice for you. Okay, so this is from your side, right? This is from your side, your parents. Now let's have a look at his uh, parents. What are his parents uh, about you? What will his parents think? So What will his uh, father think about you? Uh, how will he accept you? How will he react to you when you are first introduced, so to say? We have the three of cups. Okay, I think this person will act uh, a bit more like welcoming, happy. Okay, bring it on. Who is this girl? You know, they, they might look a bit more... Um, maybe you will meet in the maybe they've seen you in the marriage also like 
they will be very pleased basically maybe because they'll be in a good mood because it's gonna be a marriage or a function or some sort of party and they're gonna be guests and you know music and people and food so i think their mood might be good and they will look at you as a gift you know this is also similar when you go to their house no when they come to your house maybe to look at you so um so from that perspective i think they will be in a very festive mood so they will of course they'll positive this is positive <clears throat> now what about their mother how will she uh react to you when she first um is introduced to you okay mothers seem to be more more practical so so here we have a situation she might be worried about whether you're good um, as a material to be around the house to work you know what you know what you don't know which kind of can you cook can you I don't know do you know this and that and what's your education but she is more interested if you can be a good housewife I feel she's more interested and uh, whether she can get along with you or not on a personal level so she is looking someone for herself like you know is this um, daughter-in-law perfect for me to be friends with or you know work you know clean and cook or whatever um is she gonna be a good one so i feel that she will not like something um here um maybe when you there's gonna be something that you'll say or do that she might not like she will go in this uh um, defensive mode so to say she'll go into this defensive mode when uh she sees you because of something that she learned uh, or maybe she's just why is she so defensive like against you you know like from the beginning like she's again maybe there's a class difference maybe they are not as rich as you are if that's polite to say not as well off as you are and maybe she uh, has to do a lot of work and around the house but your mother doesn't have to do and and she's looking for someone will she be able to do work in our house you know you so we have that sort of thing here so maybe or it's gonna be again maybe it's a dowry that she's dreaming about maybe it's um she wants some sort of she's thinking you know money and she's thinking what will they get from this marriage you know because many marriages like in india are still so to see uh people talk about these things so so yeah so that uh, she will be secretly this is her thoughts this is not what she shows but there is some sort of tension from her side she's too um might be thinking of maybe financial problems you know never know so let's um uh, see will his father say yes to if you want to get married will his look again poverty is coming poverty uh, I feel that father is ready to say yes, um, despite the fact that you might be, I don't know, different caste, maybe they, that one of you is poor, I think maybe they consider themselves as, you know, like they don't have money. And But they are ready to announce this marriage, you know, happily. They, they think it's a game well played. And... Uh, and they will benefit from this marriage. Yeah, even though it's something like uh, one, the boy will have to go somewhere else, or you will, or you are from a different state, different culture. Like, oh, uh, you have to come across India to live there, or, or, or you live separately, or you know, distance basically. Now. Will uh, his mother say yes if you want to get married? Will she agree? She seems to be uh, more 
confrontational, so to say. Like in a couple, there's always one person who's more positive and good, and one who's less positive and good. So in this case, the the mother is a bit more. Your mother also is a little bit more practical, but she's not angry. But this lady, uh, she might be more upset. Uh, but okay, we'll just again food. So she might be not happy, but she might listen to what her dad has to say. Uh, so maybe she's just more negative, but the fa his father is more in charge, you know, he's the leader. But she just thinks things, you know, which are not positive and things like that. She is upset, maybe you cannot cook, or maybe it's going to be not that the function they wanted. Maybe they're not going to uh, do something that they wanted. So she, for her, is she's not happy, you know, the way that your father is happy you know but anyway uh so but yeah this is how they will react this is the psychology of, your, of their parents of your parents and their parents and what is advice when you go to that uh, meet their parents how should what is the advice the world be traditional be respectful you know and if it's a double culture thing the like intercultural marriage the like interreligious or something there research that you know do what they like basically don't uh, argue don't try to advertise your culture just agree with whatever they want you know that sort of thing um, it can be a, a bit sensitive thing here because different cities different country like cultures you know the same country but different cultures so this was our reading number one let's move on to our deck number two and let's have a look <clears throat> okay I've got my old decks trimmed almost anyway they're smaller now more comfortable to shuffle so we're doing a reading about your parents uh, and your relationship, your romantic relationship. What will your parents, how will they react once you introduce that person to them? So how will your father react once you introduce your boyfriend to them? <clears throat> Sorry, here... It might be a little bit of a criticism, sorry. Here, uh, sorry, we have a criticism going and it might be because you hid, them from, uh, hid it from them for a long time. Maybe they have an issue with the secrets and secrets and why you didn't tell them, you know. Uh, so here we have like you hid some sort of uh, bad thing from them and that sort of thing and it's not very pleasant. It might, um, the father might <clears throat> uh, criticize you or how to say this relationship. They might think the person is not good enough. They might think that the person is not um, educated enough or, or it can be, you know, not serious person, that sort of thing. Uh, But I think they also kind of, they don't know exactly what they th think they need to think about things. It's again, uh, time will show, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so we have that sort of feeling here. Like they don't know this person. There's lots of like they don't understand about this person. They want more information about this person. They want to uh, wait a lot and like... Uh, to find out or research what's happening, you know. Uh, they might think the person is aggress uh, like aggressive or like, you know, like with muscles, a boy with muscles. I don't know, like very naughty type of kid, very bad influence on their daughter. You know, that sort of feeling might be there. <laughs> uh, like uh, a person who is not a good example for example um, maybe a boy who 
a boyfriend who doesn't talk politely basically that sort of like awareness is it a good person for my daughter so what about your mother how would she react once introduced to that person well i feel she will be more calm she will be more tolerant and understanding i feel your mother might be conservative person you know religious person you know but she is also very very uh, warm you know warm person she doesn't judge or anything uh so feel of she would be more happy more uh, accepting of that person you know she might even you know just be calm about it i don't know she will accept okay i think she will be happy from a from one perspective so so i think yeah your father is a bit more suspicious and they think they don't know this person very well but your mother <clears throat> might be uh more like you know looking at him like to every single other person and respecting him and being happy for you maybe uh, there is a concern with what people will think you know also a little bit with the mother some sort of uh, videos or photos something like that who saw it who didn't see it you know maybe she even gonna share some photo of, of that person with her friends you know that sort of thing some, somehow she's gonna celebrate it that that the fact that you introduced them to her now um maybe you talk to your mother more maybe you like friends who knows <clears throat> So let's see, what uh, will your father say yes to this relationship if you decide to get married with this, uh, with your boyfriend, the the boy, you know, the person that you thought of? Will the father say yes? So I have very inter. Yes, I think they will say yes, but also. Yeah, I think they will say yes, and there is lots of wisdom coming from them. Like, they inspired by some sort of uh, deity or something. It can also be that this wedding or something will not happen just very soon. Whatever that is, I think uh, they will say, they will truly sincerely be glad for you know when this will happen when your marriage will happen i think they want you to get married um like you know parents say i just want you to get married this is my life's dream and this is the most important for me you know so they just want to see you in that wedding with a with a dress you know and, and things like that so yeah uh we have also something spiritual happening here so if by any chance uh, your father is passed, uh, it might be that from above they will approve of this. Anyway, let's see how will your mother agree with this? Will your mother approve of this? Will she say yes? Well, she will say yes. Oh, look at those cards. It's clarity. She's happy. Um, she will be happy to hear about this. I don't know, maybe before she didn't agree with it. Something like maybe you didn't bring any boyfriend to her to, to show. And she simply couldn't say yes to anything. So she's really tired of this kind of stagnation. She's waiting until you will introduce her to something or or have kids or have a family or something so so yeah i think she will say yes she'll be happy um okay so what is advice for him when this person comes to see her parents hmm I I feel <clears throat> be in control of your natural um, personality, so to say. You know, the person should politely defend themselves if people ask them questions. 
but uh, also feel that they should refuse to have food and, and drinks, you know, if they're offered. That will seem to be very polite and kind of, you know. Also, they should not be confrontational at any costs, but they should also defend their views. Um, they also might... There's also something about saying no to lots of abundance, saying no to certain things, maybe saying, saying that, no, we don't want a dowry, for example, no, we, we don't need that, we don't believe in it. So saying things like that will make a very great impression on them. Uh, well, it can be, you know, I can, they should act humble and not demanding like I can wait for ages until your daughter is ready you know um, I don't really care about uh, good things you know saying things like that might uh, really leave a good impression on your parents you know something about struggle they can talk something about you know how simple they are how uh, things like that so so let's have a look now what would his parents think about you what would his father uh, feel when he's first introduced to you okay so we have a situation again your father might his father also might be not around anymore um he might i don't know overall the feelings of swiftness like some sort of dead things come to life so overall it's a good feeling if the, whatever the case is, if the father is passed or the father is alive, uh, his father, uh, I think mm, they will be happy because, you know, they want to have you to have a family, they want you to have kids, you know, something like that. They've been thinking about it for a long time. So I think they will like this person because that means family, you know, one more person. Might mean family and uh, and things like that. Here we have money coming in as well. Maybe uh, the person some somehow somewhere subconsciously might think about earning or benefiting somehow from this relationship. So I think they will be like, okay, well, congratulations, you know. Now, what will uh, their mother? How will she react once she's introduced to you? So, okay, the mother for mother is gonna be a little bit of a shock. I feel uh, it's not like for her. Maybe before there was some sort of separation or breakup between you two, or like maybe this is a second marriage or something. So like she has been burned. She's had a bad experience about this, and uh, I feel that like for a while there has been no activity going on. Like. No one has came to propose or you haven't brought any boyfriend or girlfriend to them. So I think for, for your mother it will feel like um, some sort of change, some sort of refreshing new face in life, something new. Like, But she, I feel like she might be a little bit uh, like... For some reason, cards are not very good, like pessimistic. Maybe she's not well, you know, maybe she, her health is not well and she will be, like, not having energy to react. Uh, but she, there's just, like, very low energy levels coming from here. Look at that. So, I feel she is struggling somehow mentally, something is happening, so she might not be able to react properly to this, you know. Or maybe she's pessimistic because she already had some sort of separation or breakup or something, or affair, and she doesn't want to hear any of this anymore. She doesn't believe any of this, and she doesn't want to hear any of this. So, that sort of thing. <clears throat> Uh, 
okay so some weird cards a little bit weird um like tired <laughs> cards <clears throat> Okay, so let's see, if you decide to get married with this person, will his father see us? Will his father see us? Queen of Pentacles, Seven. Well, again, we have some sort of, okay, situation is good, but we have, uh, be careful with money. Because they, subconsciously maybe, um, person might think about how much you earn and it might be a dowry thing going on uh, they might th ask you how much you earn how much your family earns how much money you have how much it will cost you know and how much money it will bring into the house and uh, this is what they're doing is illegal this is they shouldn't ask that they shouldn't like it's a bit cheeky thing to think you know but some people cannot help this culture and it can be that, but it might doesn't have to be that. Maybe they want a daughter-in-law who will help around the house or help to look after some elders who are not well. That sort of thing can be there. So be careful because they have some sort of second motives the father would have. And would the mother say yes if you wanted to get married? The mother would say yes, but I'm again feeling that mother's maybe not around, like she may be in spirit. Uh, but from above, she would say yes. You know, uh, she would be very happy. It's like she's approving of everything you do. So car cars are funny. Uh, when I say funny, means they give me a weird vibe when I look at them, the mother cards. Maybe uh, your mother is in spirit. Maybe your mother is not well. Maybe uh, something, something. So, what is advice for you when going to meet their parents, his parents? Well, actually, it says don't go meet the parents. Um, it says don't, don't bother. Uh, I don't know why. It's not a good idea to go meet their parents. Well, uh, actually, yeah. Why not? Well, actually, they might not be that... Um, you might not be welcome there. They might insult you, offend you, or even shout, you know. Maybe this happens sometimes. Um, so, yeah, it's not advisable to meet their parents. Not n not right now. Not at this moment. So, uh, interesting reading. Let's have a look at our deck number three. We have Sacred Indian Tarot deck. We're reading about... What will your and their parents think about you and, and him? So let's have a look. What uh, if you were to introduce your boyfriend to your parents? What will their they think of? What will their impression be about your boyfriend? So let's have your father. What would his impression be if you introduced your boyfriend to them? What would he think of him? Okay, so uh, they might be, in the beginning, they might be a bit worried and um, ready to fight, so to say. But I think in the end, they will accept them very nicely. They will... Um, uh, accept the differences, you know, from doesn't matter the religion, the the culture, the the caste, the the state, you know, the language. The the person might accept that your boyfriend, yeah, because I feel that they are very intelligent, you know, person, and they think before they say something. So, 
yeah, I think they might even find some sort of common talk with your boyfriend. They might like each other, like maybe they have similar hobbies or something. So we had that sort of thing. But in the beginning, I feel they were, um, they were a bit, they thought that he's going to be the worst, you know. They're going to have a fight and they're not going to like him. But later when they met and talked, I think they started liking that person. So, or maybe they were convinced to like them by some third party. So, it can be that sort of thing. Now, what will your mother uh, feel? What will she, her impression be about that person, your boyfriend? Once she is introduced for the first time. Okay, so she might be more emotional. She might be, oh, they are lovers. They love each other. You know, my kids, my, my child has fallen in love. You know, something like that. She would be more romantic, more like remembering the old movies, remembering her own experiences. And I think she would think it's it's adorable, you know, that person and the, the whole process of you liking someone and someone liking you. So I think she's going to be moved and kind of, you know happy but she might feel like someone's gonna take my baby away from me someone's gonna uh, steal my baby you know that that sort of feeling is coming here um so what uh how would your father react if you said that you wanted to marry a boyfriend what would they say yes Well, first of all, I feel the father is very overprotective, pro not necessarily overprotective, but protective. Uh, they might <clears throat> really, um, you know, they, we have the card which says Ravana rejects counsel. It's like they want to re say no, you know, but I feel... Yeah, they might be afraid to let you go there. They might think that the boy is not good or the culture is not good or the, the family is not good, you know, stuff like that. But I feel that they might also meet up with some relatives and friends and ask for advice, you know, what, what to do, how to do, you know. They might even want you uh, to focus on your career more. Like they might get you a, a ticket to go to some foreign country to study or work or might suggest you to do something so that they can distract you from this relationship so I feel like they don't want to for you to get married you know okay so I think it's a no but it's not direct um, what will they think about you marrying that guy Look, they don't want to and they think you're their angel and they think that um, the guy is somebody who's gonna just steal you and take you with them. They want to stop that no matter what because they want to protect you, they want the best person for you and they think that person is not the best for you. Uh, but I feel that they will think about it, they will think about it, you know. Um, it's like innocence lost for them, like innocence lost, and this is the end of the world. But they will try to think about that, but they will try to also do not, uh, for you not to get married with that person. Maybe drag the time or postpone things or you know, do things like that. Maybe they're gonna say that if you do this, I'm gonna become some sort of uh, beggar and uh, saint and I'm gonna go live in the streets and, and meditate and pray, you know, stuff like that. And we have very, those sorts of cards, maybe they'll go into some sort of Prayer, pray, is that praying or, or, or doing something like that? Going to various astrologers, you know, uh, researching things, you know. They will, I don't know, some very interesting reaction they have. Um, you know, whatever it takes, they'll try to drag it, distract it, I don't know, something like that. Now, Who knows, maybe um, 
they want to isolate themselves or you from that person with various um, excuses okay okay so that sort of thing now what about your mother will she say yes to the marriage if you wanted to get married with that person well I think your mother uh, is more interested she, she already would start thinking about all the functions and all the procedures and the clothes and the jewelry um, you know and how to look better and the food and the diets something like that they will start gathering her relatives female relatives and friends and like talking um, to, to them about this you know I feel like she'll start preparing for the marriage immediately wants to tell her uh, like that sort of feeling and she is willing to sec. she might be thinking uh, like you know the girls have to get married and after that you know they don't belong to this family they go and belong to their family so we're sacrificing our daughter you know and the, our daughter is so brave and so wise you know that sort of feeling uh, is coming yes she might go to various temples or do various prayers and um you know for this to work out you know or for that matter i don't know not to work out but it seems to me that she's kind of can't wait until some, something will start happening can't wait un until you get married maybe Uh, maybe she'll go talk to dad as well to try to convince him about this marriage, you know, who might be eccentric uh, a little bit and maybe super religious at some point. So she might actually ask the dad to to consider this, reconsider and, you know. So advice for the boy for for your boyfriend if he comes to see a parents what is the advice how should he behave what is the advice okay so first of all i feel uh, right now It's, uh, it's better if you don't, he doesn't come to see your parents for some reason. It's better if it's a secret for now. Um, like, it shows that you're hanging around together. You're, you know, in public or something. You're seven of hours. Like, you're trying not to be seen. Something like that. And, uh, you know, advice for him is not to show up maybe because of your dad the same thing like there's gonna be a problem there's some you i don't know if you have brothers or something they might even it's not gonna be so easy to come to see your parents like someone's gonna stop him and not let him speak to your dad or meet your dad or something so i feel right now it's maybe not a good time to uh, be 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 visible for appearance. It's better if, let's say he, I don't know what's the reason why. Maybe they would like him more if he had a good job or something, or had achieved something in life. You know, be more reliable. So that sort of situation. Now let's have a look at. What would his family think about you? How would their parents um, think about you? So, when introduced to their mother, what would his, his mother sorry, think about you? What, how would she react first she, once she's introduced? Whoa! Well, I feel a very not pleasant reaction, you know, it's almost like swinging swords and everything. Uh, she will be mad because she doesn't expect it. It's a, it's a hidden relationship. And uh, 
and there's gonna be a revelation about you to them and, and there's gonna be like a council again um, there's gonna be relatives and neighbors and everyone's gonna uh, talk about that, discuss that you know, how bad this is, what shall we do how to stop this you know, so I'm getting that sort of feeling she will get a bit of a shock and uh, what would be the reaction of his father? Well, I feel that uh, father might be a little bit um, laid back, a little bit more relaxed. He still doesn't like this, you know, he still doesn't agree with this. Uh, but maybe he, he thinks that maybe things can be worked out you know if there is some sort of financial angle going on or if they might bring up religion as well um you know they, they might be a little bit um again difference of beliefs difference of classes caste. i feel that like they might be some pundits or something because um they they're what do you call lots of they, they it's very important for them to how to put it the blessings of ganesha let's see and uh, and the mother is her reaction seems to be to, to make it seem like it's very very unlikable unlikely that this marriage could happen it's very very improbable it's like from her perspective it's so improbable i guess that this is maybe some very different culture or something like that <clears throat> anyway so i feel that still the father might be a bit more having sense of humor and willing to you know discuss this and you know something like that he might ask for you know again how much your family has and how what do you do and you know more practical again if so we don't agree with this but if you bring this much money maybe we'll say yes so i i see it like that and uh but also i think he's not reliable the father is very emotional and he has mood swings sometimes he might be in a good mood they say yes sometimes they're gonna, gonna be in a bad mood and they'll just shout you know so i think you have to remember that they are still a very conservative person um and they listen to the rules the 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 tradition matters for them so okay so let's see if you wanted to get married what would your uh, their father react how would they react death ace of swords how would the father react they would um Okay, so I'm I'm feeling that they will try to protect something. That this is again a big shock and a big change, and uh, they will try to. They'll imagine that this is some enemy trying to steal their son, and they will try to fight that enemy. You know, to save the son, uh, their son. You know, like the feeling is like that. They might make the son. They might totally disagree. I feel. And like totally destroy this relationship, <clears throat> and then they will say something to the son like, "We didn't expect that from you. You're so horrible. You know how could you do this to your parents? You know stuff like that." And the son will feel guilty. He will be put into that guilty area, and then the parent, the, the father will come. Okay, okay, we'll 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 forgive you. Okay, let's save you. Let's forgive you. You know, so I feel that like that sort of situation might happen. <clears throat> now, what uh, would be the reaction of their mother if you talked about marriage? Would she say yes? Again, she is not, she doesn't agree. She has this very old fashioned kind of no. She doesn't really want to listen about this. She understands people love each other, they like each other, but she might think about all these functions and traditions and how will they go to the temple, how will they do this and that. And if you're from different religions, so how will it work? <clears throat> how will the 
you know, how will we do this? Fun, uh, this ritual or that ritual, you know, it will not work, you know, it doesn't make sense, something like that. So they will, she will just try to, without any trying to compromise or she will just try to say no. So if you ever go to see them, what is the advice for you? How should you behave around them? Okay, two of staves, five of discs and... So I feel very interesting. It's like when you go there, you have to act poor and humble. Again, poor and humble. Like you don't have the money. Like you are the poor one. Like hi don't hide if you're from, you don't have money. Yeah, if you're from lower class or something. It's like... It's okay to act like, you know, you're, you don't have money or you're from lower class and speak that way and things like that. Almost like begging, you know, almost like begging them for their, their mercy, <laughs> you know, when they go to see them. Um, it also can make sense. This is so weird to see. Like, if you're skinny, like, I don't know if that makes sense. Why, 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 is, why? Maybe, you know, you can... Maybe you can change their opinion about you if you're acting super humble, super poor, super skinny, super under um, malnutrition, I don't know. And that will bring some sort of sense of liking towards you. You might see like seem like this pure person uh, that they might con consider, I don't know. I don't understand why these cards are here, what do they mean? Something poor and skinny and like maybe village, maybe act like they act. Uh, and also it says it can affect emotions of people how you look or how you behave it might affect something open up something you know for them is it a good idea to marry this guy well i think it's your choice it's your decision there's gonna be lots of um resistance from people it's gonna be a difficult process but you know But you can do this. It's up to you. You can change things. You can change what they think about you. You can take things in your own hands and do what you want. It doesn't matter what they think. I feel in this situation, this particular reading, it doesn't matter. I think you will, you are a strong person and you have the ability to actually change, you know, the situation. Uh, or make it work the way you want it to work so this was our reading number three now let's have a look at our reading number uh, four which is this deck our deck number four um, this is Romani tarot deck Trimmed. We're asking about this relationship and what would y'all and their parents think about this relationship. So, what would, 
if you were to introduce your boyfriend to your mother what no father let's start with father sorry so what would he think about this relationship <clears throat> what would he think about this relationship what about this person okay about this person what would their impression be about this your boyfriend your father's impression Well, the super happy uh, feeling is coming like they will like this boy or guy they will love them and they will kind of be very happy and celebrate this thing uh, call them into their house you know they might say let's have something to eat or drink or, or something like that they will be extremely happy now what about your mother would she, how would she react once you introduce Okay, she uh, okay. She might be a little bit more concerned. She, she might think that maybe uh, she might be afraid of the boyfriend. Maybe she might think that he's too much, too old or or too this or too that. You know, uh, they might. She might be uh, again thinking a lot about some people maybe there was another boyfriend that you had before and she was like comp comparing those two boyfriends maybe she'll be upset that, uh, worried that some other ex will be upset about this relationship so she is upset that some she's worried that some other man will be either jealous or angry about this relationship also she might be concerned about this person's profession you know you know origin i don't know where he lives and what he does and his personality she might think this person your boyfriend might be a little bit too mature for you or too violent or like a bad influence or I, she doesn't know what job they do you know whether they're going to be nice or not so she might think that they're too too rough for you so to say that you know <clears throat> Look, she might be uh, thinking that your boyfriend has bad habits, for example, drinking alcohol, using drugs, smoking, something like that. And she might not like them. She might think that this person, she might get a bad vibe or something. Like, they might be, like, unpredictable, mentally unstable, um, un irres un unres what's the word? Irresponsible and selfish in a way their moods control their life and they are kind of might have habits that are bad you know so she might think this is not a good guy okay um what if you talked about marriage how would your father react would they say yes would, would your father say yes So I feel the father um, totally is um, concerned about what the woman thinks. So it can be that they're concerned what you think, what you want, and what their wife thinks. You know, so they would say neither say yes or no. They'll say ask your mother. You know, ask what she thinks. You know, listen to your mother. Like something like that. I feel that they themselves would not like to say anything about this. They don't want to take this decision, you know. They want the women to take decision. Now, what about your mother? Um, would she say yes? Well, she wants you to be happy again. She wants happiness. And uh, she might be worried that this person, your boyfriend, doesn't have a job or something. Maybe you don't have a job, but you want to have a family. So she might be wanting first you to have a job and some sort of stability in in, in the world in society and uh, and then you know uh, she would say yes but maybe uh, she also might think that this would bring children into the life and she wants children she she is for family and children but there might be some worries 
So maybe she will be happy. The cards are saying that she will be happy because there are children uh, in this picture. And also it can be that there's a family business in this picture. That marrying this person means that you will extend your family business or they will help in the family business or, or, or it will be good or something. So that sort of situation here. Uh, unless you have children from before. Unless you have children from before, so she might be worried about how will these children fit in and what will happen and things like that. So we have lots of worries that your mother, lots of things that your mother thinks about. <clears throat> what is the advice um, for, what is the advice for this boyfriend? You know, when he comes to see a parents, how would, how should he be, how should he behave? <clears throat> well, first of all, I think this person should be very calm, so to say. They should be calm and they should try to talk to your mother a lot. They should discuss things with your mother, discuss the money the the travel part the marriage part you know what will happen how will it happen how will they balance out things you know so i feel how should they be when they come overall neutral neutral normal they should really honest you know and respectful of your mother Okay, so so that sort of situation. Now let's uh, so extreme attention should be shown to your mother, and uh, they should be very polite. Now let's see what would their parents think about you once how would they react to you once they introduced when once you're introduced to them. Let's start from the father. What, how would he react to you once he's first introduced? So the cards uh, come that either he'll never be introduced, either he's somewhere far away, or he can talk about the fact that they will um, be worried about you being from, not local, not local, not from their area, from somewhere else you know uh, but it, it can be that the father wouldn't even live with him or something you know it can be that they will also see you as their their son's partner that's it you know my son's girlfriend so that sort of situation here Interesting cards, interesting cards. It might be that they will want to escape that place, never meet you, or they they don't live there anymore, or, or something like that. But other than that, it can be that they will be kind of happy, yeah? Like, okay with that. But also there's something about distance, like maybe you're coming from far away or something like that. So let's see, what would their mother think if she meets you, if she's introduced to you? What impression will she get? Well, here we get like um, very happy, you know, like the, she's seen you somewhere before. She's mentioned some wedding or somewhere when she traveled. Like it's not the first time that you're meeting. So we have maybe she'll meet she'll meet you in a wedding or in some public place. You know, it doesn't seem very personal. It also se seems to be lots of movement, like similar like travel. Now let's have a look at um, if you talked about marriage, what would their father say? Would they say yes? Mm. 
the father. Well, I think he. It's the, there's a sense that they know you, that they met you, and uh, it's not it's not the first time again. And uh, if, but I feel that they don't want to say anything you know like they're busy or they will say ask your mom or you know whatever like for the marriage yeah so again they might kind of don't want to get involved in this they might want to put this decision to some other people ask someone about this also, if this is a second marriage or a third marriage, it can be that they'll be concerned about the children from previous marriages and maybe the wife, the previous wife or ex-wife or, or girlfriend or something. So that sort of situation. Now, what would the mother, what would she, how would she react um, if, would she say yes? If you talked about marriage, her, his mother. Okay, I feel she, she wants to, but she's worried that uh, the family is not rich enough or not ready right now to for this marriage or something. So she would be um, unpleasantly surprised um, over a good thing because, because maybe the family doesn't have money for this or something, something. Or the class is different, again, the class is different. And it will be like a bit shocking shocking to her so no she would probably say no or think no now will she eventually agree will she eventually agree again she will put it on her husband she'll say you decide you know i don't know i have a bad feeling about this you know like we shouldn't do this but i really really want my children to be happy so she might uh, say you decide you know husband you decide they might think about it you know they might think and they might uh, worry and imagine what will happen things like that <clears throat> So yeah, what is advice for you when meeting them? When you go bring some gifts, take something to them like it can be, I don't know, sweets, fruits, money, something like that. It doesn't seem to be like a really good idea to go there. Uh, these cards show that it's going to be a crazy idea to go there. But if you decide to go there, uh, take something with you, which would be like a gift, and give them that gift. Um, you know, like gifts, you know, not empty-handed. You know, like these people will appreciate if you would go there and gift something. It can be a pack of apples or fruits or chocolates something not necessarily big something you know edible so this is our reading number four um i hope i didn't bore you with all this confusing um i don't know there were six people participating type of no more two and no six people reading so I hope this was helpful and I hope you could relate them to your situation. And thank you so much for watching this video. hope to see you again next time. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. And please request for new readings, for um, ask new questions so that we can make a more, you know, bigger variety of readings. Mm -hmm. So thank you again and, and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.